All right. Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here on this beautiful day. It's her first formal meeting of the day, a 9 a.m. session on electromagnetic defense at Southwest Research Institute. Brigadier General Laura Linderman greets experts in the field. We wanted to thank this entire team. We would see her in action through eight meetings in three locations across San Antonio ranging from sessions on family violence and suicide prevention to speech prep and a run at the end of the day. The takeaway, today's military is not your father's military. I think we have changed as a force and we do value um, kindness. That's apparent in every decision General Linderman makes. Every initiative that she engages in, uh, the kind of the first consideration is how does this impact people. She's very impressive. I, I mean, you've, you've already noticed that. The stereotype of the gruff military commander who rules by intimidation is not how General Linderman rolls. You shouldn't have to be ashamed of showing your emotions, and I think that's kind of the new Air Force that we're going towards, and that's what she does best. We saw Linderman hug two dozen people the day we spent with her. There were embraces at a holiday lunch. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. And support hugs later after raw personal stories. He had it today, but he didn't have it tomorrow. So in my daughter's darkest day, my darkest day, I was alone. I'm here till General Linderman tells me I can't come back. <laughs> General Linderman was still emotional during her next meeting. So I apologize to you guys. Explaining she was late because she couldn't interrupt a woman. <laughs> but um, but that's why we're late. Bearing her soul about a suicide attempt. I like to think I'm a good listener. When the job demands toughness, Linderman, who's 49, can be stern. We talked about that. She doesn't enjoy doling out discipline, but she founds balance by loving them when they're when they're when they're doing a great job, but also loving them enough to correct them when they're wrong. She also values transparency. We saw it firsthand when she invited the media on a tour of mold in Lackland dorms four months ago. There's nothing to hide. It's when we try to circumvent the truth, that's when we run into trouble. What will she do when her two-year command stint concludes next summer? I love cupcakes, and I thought about a cupcake Shut business. <laughs> <laughs> this from someone who at the tender age of 10 already knew what she wanted to be, an Air Force pilot. I grew up wearing a, a male flight suit. Just like her father. This is a great life. Modest, humble, and unaware of the impact she has on others. You're going to get a Christmas card. <laughs> she says simply. I don't think of myself as a role model. The 80,000 people she supervises at JBSA might feel otherwise. We wanted you to be a part of this. So. Jim Lefko, News 4, San Antonio.